Hi guys, it's Monica with Scrap Saturdays and this is my new project for this um, week and I'm using the My World cartridge again and I will be making a compass that's on page 22. So it's this compass here and I use the regular feature, I use the shadow feature and I use the blackout feature and I also cut out the layers. I'm using the Tim Holtz Ideology Retro Grunge Paper Stack and that's because I've had it for ever and a day. So my challenge to myself is to try and use up as much of the paper and stuff that I already own. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out um, my album so far. So this is my front cover and this is the feature that I told you is the regular feature on uh, page 22 and it cuts out like this. So it's just the craft part and I've cut the red part at the shadow and then I've cut my chipboard piece on the shadow as well and so my front cover will look like that and then I've cut out the layer pieces and this is all at 10 inches but if you go over to my blog at www.scrapsaturdays.com I will put a list up again just like I did for the graphic 45 and I'll put up as much as I can to help you cut out exactly what I've done here so again this is the layer feature and it cuts out that and it cuts out the little dial hands for you it only cuts out one, but I cut out a few more um, to give me some more dials and hands there. So I've done that. And then I've gone ahead and cut out some blackout feature in the craft again for the other side of the back of my album. My inside pages are the Tim Holtz pattern pages and they're cut out with the shadow feature. And what I did first was cut down my paper to eight and a half by 11 and keeping into where the pattern was going to be. So that helped me direct where I was going to cut. I don't know if you can see on camera, but I cut out um, an acetate piece. Actually, it's more like a, I don't know. It's not as thick as acetate. It's a little bit thinner, but I cut it out so that I could cut another uh, one of those full regular features with the north, south, east, and west cut out. And then I'm going to be doing some funky um, scrapbooking with that overlay on top. But my page will be um, the acetate. So I cut out two of those. And then my papers just continue again with the patterned one. Um, I cut out another full shadow feature in the craft and then I cut it in half as best as I could and deleting that top portion here and I'm going to turn this into a pocket. With my excess patterned paper I cut out tags with the bags, tags, boxes and more but you can do freehand if you'd like and I'm going to be tucking them into those pockets and then I cut out some more tags that I'd like to stamp and distress to put into those pockets with just my craft because I kind of like that accent um, going there. So I cut out a whole bunch of tags because I like to prepare myself and this is what I'm left over with just little strips that I might use for some belly bands or even embellishments for um, my tags. Using my sister-in-law's robot cartridge, I cut out all of these little gears um, because I don't have the Tim Holtz die. So I thought that was the easiest way. And I used some Recollections metallic paper. And I just did various sizes and shapes and I may not use all of them, but I always like to prepare myself and then I can keep them for something else. I've grabbed some stamps that I have. I bought some big gem brads because I may use that on the front cover. The Tim Holtz um, uh, gears and sprockets and then his time pieces. And then I just got this other stamp set that I might be using the clock for. And that's it. It's going to be very masculine, so there, there might be some ribbon, but not too much. Just basically um, a lot of metal and stuff like that. I haven't bought a chain yet for 
the top portion of the album but I think that's how I'm going to bind it together is with some actual chain and uh, so yes I'm excited to do this this is my project I thought it was funky you can use whatever paper you want you can do whatever color combination you have um, I will be doing the same thing, uh, two or three little series of videos of how I put it together as best as I can using the best camera angles that I'm going to try. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm so excited. I hope it turns out really neat and cool. And uh, thanks you guys for everything, for all my subscriptions. And uh, enjoy. Again, go to my blog, um, www.scrapsaturdays.com, and I will be posting a list of supplies so that we can do this one together. Have a great day.